Okay, hello. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at um, exponential functions. We'll start off by talking in general about an, an exponential function. And that's a, fun a function in which the variable is an index or the variable is a power. So the thing which is changing is the power. Uh, we're just going to graph this so we can see what it looks like. So let's consider y equals uh, 2 to the power of x. And we'll just start at um, x equals 0. So when 2 to the power of 0 is going to give you 1, 2 to the power of 1 is going to give you 2, 2 to the power of 2 is going to give you 4, 2 to the power of 3 is going to give you, if we go on up a bit, give you 8. So you can see where the shape comes from. And they're all of this, this shape. So they all go up. And then the, as they go further, as x gets bigger, we go up more and more steeply. OK, so we can see here that um, we never touch the x-axis, although it does get very close to the x-axis as um, x gets much smaller. Um, here we can see when uh, x equals 0, we have y equals 1. And we can see that we're always positive. OK, so what's the exponential function? So instead of talking by, about an exponential function, we're talking about the exponential function. And in math, this means this, e to the power of x. So what is e? Well, e is just like a constant. It's like pi. We've all known pi. And we know that we can give a number for pi. To, uh, for, so for e, the number is 2.718281. And then it goes on. It's an irrational number. So what does an irrational number mean? It means um, you can never write it as a fraction. You can find it on the calculator. And a very important thing about E, it has a very special property that when you differentiate it, you just get E to the X. And we will um, talk about that when we do the video on differentiation. OK, so what's, why is it special? Why do we care about the exponential function? Well, it's used in physics a lot for modeling real life uh, situations. So real life observations. So uh, the first example I've got here is Newton's law of cooling, which looks like this, and exponential decay for radioactivity, which looks like that. OK, and what does the exponential function look like? So the exponential function is y equals e to the power of x. Um, and it just looks very similar to 2 to the power of x, really. Um, Key, key points to note as x tends to minus infinity, y tends to naught, so it goes on down here. Uh, when x equals 0, y is 1. And it's uh, e to the x is bigger than 0, that means it's positive, it's only ever in this bit of the graph for all values of x. Okay, so I hope that's helpful.